Hi there, it's Galen, design team member for Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a vibrant holiday card and it is using watercolor and non-traditional colors. So I have the stamp kit called Oh Dear, It's Here by Unity Stamp Company. And it's this beautiful silhouette of a deer. It also includes a sprig uh, a branch sprig. So I just did the repeat stamping underneath the deer for that and I pre die cut that panel. Now for watercolor, I'm using Ken Oliver's Color Bursts in Lemon Drop and Razzleberry. Those are found on my favorite things site and a Sunrise 3 pack. I'm using my Creative Time dies. It's called Thank You and Frame Dies. I'm using Canson watercolor paper and pink solid card base cardstock. I am using a mini mister spray bottle and a paintbrush and a little tray to, to mix the watercolor. I'm also using Ranger plastic craft mat and archival ink in jet black. It is a waterproof ink. So you wanna stamp with that on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. Now I'm adding a tiny, tiny bit of powder into each of these little liquid wells for painting. Now um, this is a different way of doing, of using the uh, color burst. The first time I used it, I added it directly to the watercolor paper. This time I am diluting it in a liquid palette. So I'm adding water to the powders to create a liquid watercolor. I also have a, a separate water container nearby and a paper towel. Um, so the first thing I like to do before I watercolor, um, especially if I don't mind if the ink blends, is to add water first to the areas where I want color. So in this case, I just, in the top left and bottom right corners, I added water for one color. So this time um, I just dab the paint paintbrush into the liquid and then dab bits of um, sections with that yellow color and splatter a little bit of uh, paint splatters around. So um, it will blend with the existing water on the paper. So then um, I clean the brush with water and I add some clean water into the other areas where I want to add a different color. So I'm going to come in with a pink, a really vivid pink color to um, dab the liquid watercolor right into the existing watercolor on the, on the uh, watercolor paper. Now it's okay if it bleeds into the yellow, it creates a nice blended watercolor look. Um, so I clean my brush again. Now I'm going to pick it up and just move it a little to try to, to blend some of the areas. I didn't want the whole thing to be blended, but just the edges so that it creates sort of a different shade. And you can uh, move with the brush. You can add just sort of a little bit of blending if you want. Um, two dab off puddles, extra puddles. If you want to dab them off um, to speed up the heating process, I use a paper towel and I gently, gently dab where the water wells are, water puddles. And sometimes I add more color where I wanted. I, I thought it needed a little more yellow, so I added some more yellow. And uh, anyway, so if you're happy with that and it's not too puddly, you can leave it to dry. It's perfectly fine to do that. It will take a while to dry completely. Um, but I heat set mine with a heat tool. I heat it on the front and the back. And with the heat tool, you don't want to stay in one place very long. It might burn the paper. So I add double-sided tape to the deer panel. And I add that to the pink card base. And I add a few clear, sparkly adhesive gems. And there you go. It's a really vibrant happy looking holiday card. Thanks for watching. I hope you take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube. Have a great day.